They didn't think he would, would make it. So we were very lucky that he did survive. I'm a quad amputee. I've lost uh, both my arms and both my legs, uh, below the knees, below the elbows. She gets me dressed in the morning, helps me get my limbs on, bathes me, helps me with all of the, the toilet stuff. I brush his teeth, um, shave him. There's a lot of things uh, that uh, caregivers have to do throughout the day. I mean, I can't make my own meals. I don't think he can pick up dishes and put them in the dishwasher or laundry or change a light bulb or, you know, things like that. Just daily life, there's a lot of things in daily life that he wouldn't be able to do. Things are a lot easier with uh, my wife around. There's untold thousands of veterans out there that need this assistance, that it's important to them to be able to survive every day, to live some kind of a life with respect and dignity. It would be a lot more costly to have somebody come in and a home health nurse to come in and dress him in the morning, brush his teeth and take care of him in the morning. And, and I'm on his schedule. He would have to wait for them to even to get out of bed. I guess if something would happen to me, he would either have to bring in somebody to hire somebody to do all the things that I do or be in a nursing home. Let's roll it out for the rest of the, the veterans that need it out there. Uh, an arbitrary date should not change the fact that you need caregiver support. I think for a lot of families that if the caretaker gets to stay home instead of having to work without you know, the financial pressure, that um, that would be the best thing for the, for the veteran. She chose to be my caregiver, to not have a career, to take care of me just about her whole life. And uh, <clears throat> it would give her some kind of uh, vacations from me, that would be nice. <laughs> And give her support financially a little bit better, uh, you know, uh, and some training that would help ensure that she's doing it correctly. Caregivers or veterans are really, truly unsung American heroes. They're the significant other behind the vet. I would not be able to go through and be national commander of the DAV without her support, without her traveling with me, her assistance. Uh, it's just as much her that has done this as me.